بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Assalamu alaikum hi friends welcome to another knowledge sharing video in last two videos we discussed about plant view and component view if you didn't watch i prefer that you should watch these videos to understand basic purpose of plant view and component view of semantic manager because in processing industries mostly maintainers like to use plant view and component view for troubleshooting now question will arise in your mind what is purpose of process object view mostly process object view is used for bulk engineering In fact it plays key role in PCS7 design and implementation phase because mass data editing is possible in process object view to understand the working of process object view i will take PCS7 getting started training project as example in this project there is two raw material tanks rmt1 and rmt2 there is one reactor which is react1 as you can see here Now I want to add another identical reactor for this purpose I will use process object view Now come back to semantic manager here in tree structure of project in plant view you can see rmt1 and rmt2 two identical areas same way I will create identical folder of react1 it is so simple select react1 folder right click and click copy now select folder of plant1 and paste in main window It will take some time to create copy of folder. Inside it folder, you can see copy of all charts related to React One. I think it is better to do same in process object view. I delete React One copy folder. Now from view menu, open process object view. It will take time to load all charts of Plant One project. maximize the process object view so we can see maximum charts currently general tab is selected and you can see all entries in tabular form expand plant one folder select react one folder copy with control c and then again select the plant one and paste with control v it will take some time to create copy of the folder now select copied folder You can see all charts in tabular form. First, rename the folder and change to React2. You will see in hierarchy column path of charts also updated. Now, I will change the names of all these charts. I will change second digit from 1 to 2 and delete the brackets and number inside brackets. I will do this with all charts starting from 3. change general to general 2 react 1 picture change to react 2 and sfc to sfc underscore react 2 if you know how to use find replace function in microsoft office same you can also use in process object view to rename contents now i will connect input output points of my charts with input output signals of io cards for this purpose click on signals tab You can see inputs and output signals of all blocks used in different charts. Here you can see split window option which make your job easier. Scroll right side window, left side. Here you can see all previously connected input output signals with signal comments. Before connecting signals with inputs and outputs, make sure that all new signals should define in edit symbol table with comments. You can do this in component view. Select Semantic 400 rack, then double click on Hardware. Here you can see two I/O racks having analog and digital input and output cards. Right click on any card, then click on Edit Symbol. Here you can assign symbols to input and output signals. You can also add comments here. Same you can see in other card. already symbols are assigned
This is digital input cards. This is digital input card symbols with comments. And this is digital output card symbols. Last one is analog output card. All symbols are assigned. Now we can use these symbols easily to connect with different inputs and outputs of our logic blocks. Now open process object view. Adjust a split window so I can see which signal of chart I am going to change. In signal column, I will change starting two digits from 31 to 32. You will see after entering new signal, comments are also changed according to our edit symbol table. Same I will do with all signals. This can also be done in plant view, but in plant view, you have to open all charts one by one and then you can connect input output signals. Here in process object view, input output signals of all charts displayed in tabular form which make mass data editing easier. As I told you that you can do same thing by using find and replace option. Keep continue to change 31 to 32. Don't change NR3X1 and NP3X1. These are common for both reactors. Now change last signal NP31 to NP32. In Smatic Manager, you don't need to save any changes. It will detect changes and save by itself. So be careful to change anything. Now I will open Plant View to confirm that signals are connected properly or not. Expand Plant 1 and select React 2 folder. Here all charts renamed as we want. Double click and open first chart. Scroll to left side. These are inputs. You can see all inputs connected with the reactor 2 signal. Now scroll right side. These are outputs of charts and these are also connected with reactor 2 signals. Okay friends, you saw how we use process object view and hope you understand the purpose of process object view. If you like this, then share to your friends, may it will be useful for them. See you in next knowledge sharing video. Till that time, Maha Salama, Allah Hafiz, bye bye.